Now think about something good you can do for someone who hates you. And pray if you don't have the opportunity to do something good. At least you can pray for them. Call them by name. That you may be the sons and daughters of your father, verse 25, in heaven. For he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good. He sends rain on the just and on the unjust.
and union is not about some office or some position for Pastor Johnson or Peter Carr or Roderick Sands. It is about an opportunity and a responsibility to give focus and attention to proclaiming the word of God so that the people of God may be more focused and united and we are found doing the business of God. Our time is running out. So he says, therefore, based on all that I've said, I want you to be how? Perfect. This passage used to trouble me when I first became an Adventist. Because Lord, I said, I can't be perfect. Even my thoughts betray me. But he says, perfect just as your Father in heaven is perfect. How is he perfect? He allows the rain to fall on the just. He allows the sun to shine on the godly and the ungodly. So he's saying, be perfect in your love. Be perfect in your respect for authority. In your respect for one another. In your respect for the family. In your respect for the marriage. He says, love. Yes. So today, he says, don't think. He says, dismiss it. Get it out of your mind. That I come to destroy my law and my prophets, you don't understand me. No. I came to fulfill. Amen. I came to uphold. Yes. I came to magnify. I came to loose. I came to let them free so that the Bahamas will know that yes. there is a way out. Yes. So let's pray for our commissioner. Let's pray for our law enforcement agency. Let's pray for our government. Let's pray for the opposition. Let's pray for church leaders. Let's pray for one another. Let's pray that God will get glory in this country that his word would be unhindered. That it will move through all the corners. That people will get back to the Ten Commandments. Another level. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.